All right, so let's check in now with meteorologist Alan Rose. He's in studio tonight with more on uh, this. It, frankly, it is a dangerous cold snap here, Alan. Yeah, it is. You know, parts of Minnesota last night saw temperatures more than 15 degrees below zero, and that cold is now spreading to the eastern seaboard. This is a major blast of unseasonably cold and dangerous weather, just as Rob said, and it's sweeping all the way down to the deep south of the east coast tonight. Get this, in the Panhandle, Florida, lows this evening could topple all the way down to the lower 20s. Let's take a look at the maps. We can see here another weather system moving into the high plains tonight. That's actually going to moderate the air mass, but the east coast and the southeast, that's where skies are clear and that's where temperatures will be the coldest. Here were today's record setting low temperatures. Cotton, Minnesota, the coldest in the nation, 16 degrees below zero. Cedar Rapids, Ames, and Des Moines, all below zero as well today. Salina, Kansas starting out at three degrees above zero. Here's some other records from Wisconsin down to Texas, mainly single digit temperatures, including eight in Indianapolis and 11 degrees this morning in St. Louis. And here's tonight's forecast. Again, the coldest air shifting east towards the Great Lakes states, the deep south and the northeast. We'll see single digits around Chicago and Cincinnati. Temperatures down to the teens around Memphis, all the way down to the deep south. 26 tonight in my home state around Atlanta, Georgia. Heading into tomorrow, the sunshine does come out, but highs on Wednesday will remain cold for mid-November standards from the south all the way up into the northeast. Now, warmer weather is also expected back here at home through the end of the week, helping us thaw out. Mike Daniels is back in just a few minutes with that full forecast. But anytime you'd like to get your first Alert 5 forecast, you can do it on our website, koaa.com, or download the First Alert weather app on your smartphone. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Meteorologist Alan Rose, News 5.